everybody and welcome back to Be My Cook. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make cornmeal mush. If you've never had that, it's a cornmeal dish that usually we have in the morning for breakfast. I grew up on this, it's so good, and I want to show you how to make it. So stay tuned. Let's start this recipe. You're going to need six cups of water. Let's turn on the heat to about medium. And we're going to let this boil. I need a little bit of salt. And we're going to let this boil. And when it does, we're going to add two cups of polenta. Now I will tell you, do not try to rush this process. For one, it's not going to get done correctly and you have to cook this. This is a very big grain that you have to cook so that you can digest it. And also, this can get out of hand. If you get the heat too high, this can bubble up on you and I've gotten burned by this a few times when I was younger because I was trying to rush through this, but you really can't because this will burn you. I always make sure I have a lid that I can put on the top of this. Sometimes it can get out of hand even when it's on a simmer. So be aware of that. Wear some oven mitts if you have to. But if you keep it on low flame and you stir it, it's going to bubble up a little bit, but it's not going to be so bad. Make sure you have a long handled wooden spoon so that your hands are not directly inside the pot. See how thick it is now? It's getting harder to stir and we still have a good 15 minutes to go. Keep stirring. I know it's getting really thick now. Keep stirring. It's getting heavy. It's getting harder and harder to stir. We have about 10 more minutes to go. I want to show you what I mean when this starts to bubble up like that. This can bubble up and actually burn you. So make sure that you're stirring and this is still on a simmer. It's getting very, very hard to stir. We're almost done. Okay, our mush is now done. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna transfer this into a loaf pan. Now I have oven mitts on and this is very hot. Um, I have a greased loaf pan here, just something that you would put bread in. And I'm gonna take my pan and I'm gonna dump all of this in here. This is heavy. Fill it all the way up to the top. Starting to set up already. Get as much out of there as you can. Now we're going to let this sit. Spread it out. We're going to let this cool in the pan. And it's going to be hours and hours while that happens. And then when it gets cool, I'm going to put some foil on top of it and we're going to put it in the refrigerator and it's going to be in there for 24 hours. And tomorrow when I get this out of the refrigerator, I'm going to show you how to complete this breakfast meal. Our next step, we're going to take a knife and we're going to run it around the rim 
of the pan. Make sure that this comes out. Now let's flip it over. Oh, here we go. Good, 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 good. You always want to make sure that you grease this bottom of the pan very well. All right, our next step is we're going to start to slice it. Now we're going to slice the end off of this one. We're not going to use it. I mean, if you have a lot of people, yes, go ahead and use it. But I'm the only one going to eat this today, so now we want to make our slices not too thick and not too thin. And sometimes it's going to be a little hard when you do the top of this. Sometimes it's going to crack because the top of this is where we had the foil and it gets more dry than the bottom. Now, here's our slice. You can see how thin. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in some flour in this dish. And we're just going to flip it over in the flour and let it sit until I get the rest of these cut. Now this is a recipe that's my dad grew up on. It's good, it's hearty, and once you have it once, you're going to want to make it a lot because it is really good. Now I'm going to take all these pieces and put it in the flour. And we just want to coat it with the flour. You have to be a little gentle with it because it is something that can tear or break on you. So be gentle when you're flipping it around. All right, that ought to be enough for my frying pan right now. And we're going to take some butter and olive oil in a frying pan and we're going to fry this. Let's turn on our pan. Now we want it to get pretty hot at first. So I'm gonna put it on medium high. I have four tablespoons of olive oil and three tablespoons of butter in the pan. We're gonna let that melt. As soon as our butter melts, then we're going to put in our cornmeal mush. Now we're going to add our pieces gently into the pan. I'll get three at a time in the skillet. We don't want to overcrowd it because we have to flip this over many times and it might break apart. So don't put too many in the pan at once. You have to be gentle with it. Now this will form a crust on each side, but it's going to be nice and soft in the middle. Now I'm going to turn the flame down to about medium now. You don't want to rush getting this crisp on the bottom because it can burn. Now during hunting season, my dad would make this the night before and my brother would come and my nephew would come and my dad would get up at 5 a.m. and make this cornmeal mush. So when they went out hunting, they would be full. It's a warm breakfast and it would keep them going all day while they were out hunting. Now while we are waiting for our mush to cook, I took the rest of what I had left Put it in some plastic wrap. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. It'll last three to four days. Now I just turned over a piece right here and this has been cooking for a good five minutes and it's just now golden brown. Be gentle when you flip it. 
You see the color? This is what we want. Now we're going to let that go for another five minutes. Now once you have these three pieces getting brown, you can start adding in another piece and just keep going. As these come out, put more in. This has a little bit more to go, about another two minutes, and then we're going to take these out and put the rest in. We're now going to take out the pieces that we first put in and they are nice and crisp just the way that we want them. Be gentle with it. We have our other piece in here frying and we're going to put some more in. Keep your flame on low or medium low. Make sure you have a non-stick skillet, that always helps. Don't try to fry this in a stainless steel pan unless it's non-stick. Now, it looks like we're going to have to add a little bit more olive oil here because this does get a little bit dry. We're not deep frying it, but we are giving it the oil that it needs to get crisp. All right, let's let this go for five minutes. Now the best thing about this breakfast is while this is cooking, you get a chance to clean up a little bit. It is a little bit messy. Let's check on the one that we put in earlier. Yeah, we can flip it over. Now, if you're going to be making a lot of this for a lot of people, you have three or four people and everybody gets the, at least three pieces, eventually you're going to see that your oil may turn a little bit dark. And that's because of the flour and the butter that you put in here. You can always just, you know, dump that out and refresh if you have to cook a lot. Now when this is cooking, what you're looking for is just maybe some of the edges. You don't want to continuously start flipping this because it will break. But just the edges to start to get a light golden brown or slightly brown. Then you know that you can flip it over. But just only flip one time. If you continuously flip this, it's going to break in half. Let's give these pieces a check. Yep, it's time to turn it over. Be gentle. I always try to use the side of the pan to help me flip these. Now you see some of these popping? That's because I got my spatula stuck in one of those and that's the inside like I said it's nice and soft so be careful okay these are done I'm going to show you how I'm going to serve it now before we put this on the serving dish I'm just going to take a few berries I have strawberries and blueberries, and I'm just going to give them a few chops. And we're going to put this on the top. If you're making this, you still want to make it look pretty. Now 
always want to sneak in a little fruits and vegetables. All right, let's put those over to the side. Let's take our serving dish. Now remember, this is going to be hot, so use your spatula. Let's arrange them on our dish. Just put them on the dish, make it look pretty. Let's get these arranged a little bit better. There we go. Now we're gonna add some butter to each piece. Tuck it in there. I'll let it melt. Just get several pats of butter ready. Because this is hot enough, it's going to melt pretty quickly. All right, now that we got our butter on there, we're going to take some maple syrup and drizzle that on just down the center. And we're going to take our berries and put those on the top, just kind of here and there. Let's take our strawberries and put them on. Now tell me you wouldn't want to eat that for breakfast. On a Sunday morning when it's snowing outside and it's cold, yeah, you're going to want this. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell for more wonderful recipes. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!